What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I have something special for the interior for my car. It's uh, something I wanted to do for a very, very long time. Every time I come in the car, I have to like look at it and it just looks outdated. It needs to be changed up. So today I'm gonna to be changing out my stereo system. In order to have this to fit, I had to have this right here. And this is just, this is not okay. I know that guys, I know that it's not okay. So I went to Walmart and got this doubled in uh, stereo system. See, I was gonna order a, uh, a Pioneer stereo from Amazon but I guess that they're shut down now so that everything won't be shipped out till May 20th and I was like bro I'm not waiting that long I'll just go pick one up for Walmart I mean for 70 bucks why not I mean I'm not expecting too much out of this I just want something that's newer than this this is a 200 watt and this is a 50 so that's a pretty big upgrade and another good thing about this is that it's bluetooth so i won't have to have this annoying cable in the car anymore and this one is starting to break on me so happy to get rid of this but let's go ahead and start unboxing this thing real quick oh that is not bad at all see what else it came with probably just the cable and that's it yep just the cable right here all right got you guys set up right here so that you can see the whole process of me taking the old ones out out this thing looks like it was made in the 1980s for real <laughs> Let me figure out what I have to do here and I'll catch you guys in a second. All right, I went ahead and got everything disconnected. This is the old radio harness, I guess you would call it. So now that that's all disconnected, I'm gonna go ahead and pigtail these together. I kind of got hungry and decided to get some food. <laughs> oh, I just finished eating up the cookout. That was super, super good. But let's go ahead and get this radio all started. All right, so everything is pretty much pigtailed together. And all I gotta do is put that in here and hook it up and see if it turns on. Hopefully this works. Now to hook up the antenna. All right, let's hope she turns on. I'm guessing that's one of my problems. The radio still isn't turning on, so let me try to see if I can fix this uh, fuse problem. All right, so it looks like the fuse is blown. I'm gonna replace it and see if that fixes the issue. You guys don't understand how mad I am right now. Uh, I even went to O'Reilly's to pick up um, these little clamps because I thought that the connection wasn't good enough. I should have known to check the, the fuse first. But okay, we have power now, which is really good. All right, so I just got done messing around with it, put it to where I like the audio at. Now I'm just gonna connect the phone to it so I can show you guys how it sounds. I think I found a song. It already goes louder than my older radio too. Not that bad at all. I mean, hey, like, you can't ask for too much for $70, you know? Uh, it's touchscreen, it's not laggy at all. Audio sounds way better than the older ones. I don't know if it'll pick it up with the mic, but it sounds so much better. I'm super happy with this. After I mess around with this, some more updates, you guys also have to replace uh, this window trim right here. So I'm gonna spray some glue gun on here because there's some glue on here. Let me show you guys what happens when I roll down my window. See how it just goes down like that? And it just brings up all that nasty grind. It just sucks because uh, I can't really go through drive throughs or like the bank without having to open my door, having to reach all the way out and stuff like that and just making it awkward for everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and spray this down with some goo gone to get all that goo off and then replace it with the other ones I just got today. Let's see if it rolls down. Oh, like butter. Oh, that's so much better. 
Also, this goo gone didn't do anything for it. What I used was nail polish remover, came right off. If you guys have any glue or adhesive on your tinted windows, make sure to use this. It comes out a lot easier. But yeah, I believe that's gonna do it for today's video. I know today's video was a little bit more shorter. Uh, this is just a literally easy install with the radio and then these little clips right here. It's not the most interesting thing ever, but it was what was needed for this car. Absolutely 100%.